I'm safe. <laughs> safe at first. Recently, Donna went to uh, Hollywood, to a Hollywood party. Talked to a bunch of stars, as you might suspect. One fellow in particular that she met said she really liked was Robert Guillaume. You and I know him as the star of Benson. He talked to Donna about the success of his show and about the lack of other television shows for other black actors. Benson, I would like you to take a look at me in a new light. Fine. How about the high beams of a speeding fuel truck? Benson began in 1979 as what is called a spin-off of the TV program Soap, starring one of the program's mainsprings, Robert Guillaume. While Soap is now seen only in syndication, Benson is going strong in its sixth year. Did you think Benson would end up where he is today? No, one keeps hoping, but, you know, you... you. No, in this business, I... Uh, I didn't dare hope that we'd go beyond the first season. And we just played it sort of a week at a time. You know, we kept watching and waiting and looking and trying to improve. And here we are down in the sixth season. James Noble plays the state governor to Benson's budget director. And his pessimism about the show's success is the cast's good luck charm. Every year, I say, this is going to be the last year. And of course, this is going to be the last. No, it isn't. I don't know whether it is or not. But uh, Bob Guillaume and uh, Rene and Inga Swenson and all kind of count on me to be certain and to proclaim it that this every year is the last year. Every year I've been wrong. One year I'll be right, but I'm not waiting for it. I'm just going ahead and enjoying it as it comes. Vincent is a fun show to watch. Well, I want to help put that man in office who said the main responsibility of government is to do for the people what they cannot do for themselves. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Well, why not? <laughs> well, the man who said it was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and even more fun for the actors. Every now and then we have something, you know, really, like, really funny. And uh, it's, or, or shall I say, it's something that excites the actors, you know. Uh, and, we just, and it's so difficult to get through the lines. We laugh and giggle. We just came from... Uh, a run through this afternoon. We could hardly get through it for giggling so much. Bob and I had a scene that was, we could hardly get the words out because we were looking into each other's eyes and trying to be terribly serious about something that was utter nonsense. You know, on a serious note, really, I know that you were fairly vocal about the absence of more black celebrities on television. Why do you think that is so? Why do I think what is so? That there are not more. Well, I just think it's an oversight on the industry's part. I don't think they pay, much, pay enough attention to the kind of scripts that would allow more participation by a larger part of the society. They do narrow things down, you know, and tend, people, people tend to get left out. And uh, that's a rather general indictment of the industry for, that, for what we don't see. And I just think it would be a lot richer. I, I really don't think the, uh, that, that they are that uh, up with the public. I think that somebody thinks that the public can only take this or can only take that. And I'm not sure that that's right. I'm not also certain that I wouldn't do it the same way if were it mine to do. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. Buy you guys a couple of beers. I'll lock up. You couldn't have come at a better time, you know? I know. But don't thank me now. I haven't done anything. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we're still in this and one, And as for huh? the future of Vincent... It, it really depends on a lot of things that you can't do anything about. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I really don't really talk a lot about it. I just try to go along and see what happens. Oh. Yes, we were ready. It's about half dangerous out here on the Eddie court with these kids. Andrew, we were ready. <laughs> well, since Donna talked to Robert Guillaume, of course, we've seen the tremendous success of Bill Cosby and his show, so it's an encouraging sign.